And now, here's your host of the program, Dr. Louis Fetter. Good evening. I'm Dr. Louis Fetter, cosmetic surgeon and dermatologist practicing in New York. Welcome once again to Here's Looking at You. As you well know by now, we're the longest running medical TV show in America, which discusses beauty and health and plastic surgery and cosmetic surgery and all the things at home that you want to know about, we try to tell you. And this week is no different. I have three very glamorous New York women who happen to be friends and patients, and we're going to explain to you and share with you some of the innermost thoughts of what's new, what's hot, what's appropriate in cosmetic medicine. Allow me to introduce you first to my first guest, who's a very dear friend, Sonia Marston, who's an executive in New York. Sonia, good evening. Hello, good I'm, evening. I'm glad you joined us. Thank you for inviting me. And right next to her is Rowan Valenci, who is a very prominent artist here in New York. And her work is just wonderful. I've seen many of her paintings, and I, I'm really impressed by your, by your work and the fact that you're opening very soon in, down in Soho, and I hope to be there. So, oh, thank you uh, very much. That's great. And next to her is a lady with one of the biggest fashion magazines in America, uh, Alix Michelle. And uh, Alix has been a guest in the past here, and she likes doing it so much, we're going to make her a regular. So again, Alix, thank you Hi, Dr. Fett. very much for joining us. Thank you. Let's get right into some of this information now. Um, what question did you have to, to ask us in the audience? Yeah, I had a very important question to ask you. Um, it is, um, what that, why does buttocks makes you f look like so rested and youthful? Well, as we know, Botox is one of the newest and one of the most wonderful advances in cosmetic medicine. What Botox does, it basically paralyzes the muscles around the eyes, which cause those very deep creases around the orbicularis oculi muscles, and in these muscles in the frontalis, and sometimes around the mouth. Now, what it does is, at rest, those muscles can stay just peaceful. They don't look mm -hmm. like they've that, that tense, tired look. In fact, I'm even using it in the neck, which we're going to show some pictures in a moment. But first, let's discuss why Botox is so unusual. Even a facelift or using autologous tissue transplantation cannot do what Botox has done. I've done probably more than 1,500 patients with it. It's very safe. It does not last uh, forever. However, after two or three sessions, it basically becomes permanent and all these tissues look at ease and smooth. Another added benefit, surprisingly enough, for people who come to me, they want to have a brow lift. In most instances, you don't need that. When you do the, use the Botox in these areas around the eyes mm -hmm. and then into these areas here and into the corrugator muscles here and what's called the procerus muscles here, they get very smooth. But what's interesting, these, this whole area goes up by about a half an inch also. So it looks like almost mm. uh, oh. a denervation and a relaxation of the whole forehead. Mm. So patients say to me after three days or so, gee, I look so rested. It's unbelievable. Mm. Right. So that's why Botox is so interesting. As a matter of fact, let's go now to some of those pictures and show the audience some of the befores and afters. Now here's some of the newest procedures we're doing. Mm -hmm. Look at these cords in a woman's neck. Now as we get older, this is a very common problem. Women complain especially, even more than men, the neck drives them crazy because it gets crepey and it gets these little cords. And just injecting the special Botox on the special levels that I do it, I can achieve a really wonderful result in three or four days after it's injected. So people are really happy. I've done about 100 women now with necks alone, and they love it. Mm. It really has a, a meaningful and wonderful aspect to That's it. That's amazing. Let's yeah. go to the, um, the next picture of the Botox. Now, if you look up here in the upper uh, left-hand corner, see that big crease? And then if you go yeah. to the left again, you see it a couple of days later. And then right below that is five days later. And in six days later, that giant crease is relaxed because that's because the muscles are very tense, that angry, scowly look. Even mm -hmm. for very young people, they have those mm -hmm. muscles that are hyperactive and they look angry. And mm -hmm. they say, people tell me, I'm not angry. What can I do for this? And mm -hmm. it doesn't involve surgery. It's just some painless injections, and it's really a very, very effective treatment. I, can, I often combine that with other procedures that I do at the same visit, maybe a peel or autologous tissue transplantation. Let's go to the next picture, and we'll show it to you again what else we have for Botox. No. Oh, here, you see the forehead? Mm -hmm. See that, mm -hmm. that, that furrowing in the ball, and that, that, how she looks angry a bit? Now, that's the before. Now, once we inject her, look at that. So it really, this patient also has had autologous tissue transplantation. See the nasal labial area, the lips, that's all been augmented with her own body's tissue. So these are the kind of things one can expect. And as an added armamentarium to the cosmetic surgeon's practice, we can get these kind of wonderful, wonderful results. 
Interesting, huh? Very. Mm, Madame very Valenci, very tell us some other things you want to talk about. Yes, I would like to know the, um, the difference between laser and um, the dermabrasion. I, I've heard of dermabrasion a long time ago, but laser seems to be something new. That's a great question. And I would question. like to know the difference. As you know, in the office, when I showed you, I have several lasers in the office. I have mm -hmm. an argon, I have a CO2, we're getting an erbium. Laser is the newest modality in not only facial resurfacing, but also to help in different surgical procedures. For example, you can do a blepharoplasty, taking out the fatty tissues using mm -hmm. the, that beam of light, which basically cuts. You have to choose your patient very carefully when you choose either the, the enhanced dermabrasion that I've talked to you many times about, which is a dermabrasion with chemical peel, which may or may not be enhanced by my laser at the same time. Mm. Laser does take a little longer to heal. Ah. And you may stay a little redder with the laser. Now, with chemodermabrasion, I find for facial scarring mm -hmm. and for active acne, that is the treatment of choice. For wrinkles, laser very often can be better. But I can still do accomplish what I can with the chemodermabrasion, the same kind of effect as with laser. Now, for people who perhaps are not as talented with chemodermabrasion, doing there's a very delicate procedure dermabrasion using a wheel that goes 25,000 times a minute to play in the face under anesthesia. Of course, there's no pain really. Yes, but you have to have a very steady hand for that. Laser is not as difficult to learn. Mm -hmm. You take a couple of courses, mm -hmm. you buy the machine, and you're in business. Uh, I have it. I use it. But it depends, again, on your own doctor's expertise and the indication you're using it for. Right. There are many indications. The sun-damaged face, mm. the facial scarring from prior trauma, acne. Um, those are the, the main resurfacing indications. But there, as I mentioned to you, you can excise tumors that way. You can excise a skin cancer using laser. Wow. But I also like to use scalpel surgery because it's, so, it's just as, uh, as accurate and precise. Mm -hmm. And so right. it's, it's, but of course, when you use a laser, there's no blood loss. No bleeding at all because it, whoosh, whoosh, and you use a little anesthesia at the same time. Mm -hmm. So there's really no pain. There shouldn't be any pain in almost any of these procedures we're talking about today. Right. Discomfort, a bit, but pain, no. Alex. Liposuction. Oh, Question. favorite. Favorite. Yeah, everyone ever, everyone favorite. wants to know about lipo today. <laughs> exactly. At least, did you know lipo is the most common procedure performed by cosmetic surgeons in the whole world today? Really? Yeah. Everybody it is the to. most common procedure. And years ago, many doctors. We're very, oh, you're looking, I, I know one doctor at, the, at a very famous hospital here in New York, he mm -hmm. said, oh, it's a blind procedure, this and that. Let mm -hmm. me tell you something. Liposculpture is probably one of the most, the most uh, prominent procedure that I do in my office today. I have done almost 3,000 liposculpture procedures. The results are astounding. I love doing it. It's safe. It's accurate. It's cost effective. And those areas that you want to lose, you just can't lose by exercise alone. You can't say to your body, gee, I want to lose my saddlebags today. I'll exercise this. It doesn't happen that way. But exercise is essential. But you cannot lose those areas merely by exercise. Um, here's my question. Uh, a model friend of mine did have the procedure done by you. She looks fantastic. But there's been a question posed today in our office, because we talk about this. Does the fat come back? You know, mm. after a few years, I mean, does it just it's pop back? It's a really back? good question. Yeah. I'm often asked that in the office. Fat cells, like any other part of the body, you're given a certain number of fat cells. It's a finite number. No more, no less. When I remove those, those fat cells, they are gone permanently. Now, if you overeat or if you're injudicious mm -hmm. and you're eating habits, the fat <laughs> cells that remain can become what we call medically hypertrophied and can enlarge. Mm. But the ones that are gone are gone permanently, and that's the good part. But the other added part that many patients don't realize, when you do liposculpture, it's an incredible result. Many women, especially women, report to me within a three-month period that their appetite has gone down by between 50 and 75 percent. Why is that? And the answer is, when you remove the, the certain fat cells, each fat cell has a beta receptor, which sends a message to the brain, hello, I'm hungry. Now, if you remove those little fat cells, and the fat cell is the offending That's agent, amazing. That's the agent that causes mm -hmm. this right. problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It causes cardiovascular disease. Yeah. It causes a, a multitude of problems. So if you remove those fat cells, your appetite's going to go down. You're going to look better. You're going to feel better. Can it be done at any age? That's another good question, because mm -hmm. you can do it at any age. Mm -hmm. The results, uh, cosmetically, of course, will vary according to the patient's age, skin type, etc. A lady of 85 is not going to get the result of a woman 25. Why? The elasticity is not as good. Although I've done women as in their 80s, 
to debulk them. I, I have one lady, in right. fact, she's a very wonderful friend, wife, uh, a mother, rather, of a very good friend of mine. She had a really large, what we call, paniculus of fat. Mm -hmm. Paniculus means like an apron of fat. Mm -hmm. Now, she was not in the best of health, and she didn't want mm -hmm. to have me cutting out that paniculus of fat, which is called an abdominoplasty. Just with liposculpture alone, and, and even in her 80s, the result is astounding. She's, she's on a, a bicycle now. She wears a, two sizes less in her dress, and she feels much better about herself. And so and even, you know, she's not going to be the way a woman at 25, yeah. but right. she feels better, and she looks better in her dress. But we have some more questions for you at home. Please don't go away. We have a lot more information. Stay with us. Now, there's a nearly perfect wrinkle treatment for worry lines, frown lines, crow's feet, laugh lines, and other so-called dynamic wrinkles. Dr. Fetter's Botox Clinic features this remarkable treatment that's minimally invasive, extremely safe, and can achieve the desired results with a single treatment, often producing results that even surgery can achieve. For more information about this breakthrough advance or to schedule an appointment, call Dr. Fetter, 212-535-8700. Dr. Fetter's Silk Touch laser treatments can help you turn back the clock. This space-age technology is remarkably effective for wrinkles and gently treating the ravages of sun damage. With a very short healing time and minimal redness, it's a treatment especially attractive to younger patients seeking to eliminate the early signs of aging. For more information about laser treatment or to schedule an appointment, call Dr. Fetter, 212-535-8700. Dr. Fetter has created one of the most important cosmetic surgical breakthroughs in 50 years, the facelift bypass. This unique rejuvenating process uses your own body tissue and can take 15 to 20 years off your appearance in just one hour. The procedure is virtually painless and leaves no scarring often producing better results than a traditional facelift. Finally, there is a cost-effective innovation that can bring incredible results to anyone seeking to improve their appearance. For more information, call Dr. Fetter, 212-535-8700. We're back. Now, Sonia, during the break, you were really very animated and really ta very excited talking about the Botox. Why don't you share that with the audience? I, just, I said, you were talking, I said, wait, why don't we just wait till the, we're on the air again? Well, I, I had my Botox done like six months ago, and um, it's beautiful. I mean, I love it. My friends, uh, I mean, they can't tell what, what I had done. They just tell me that I have a beautiful skin, that it's glowing, it's beautiful. And I always tell that uh, I'm using Dr. Fedor's product. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, in six months, I didn't see any change. I mean, it just stays beautiful, and uh, I just maintain it with his product. And it's just, uh, I love it. It's great. As a matter of fact, Sonia is distributing some of our products now in Europe. Yeah, so I she's involved in that too. So in, uh, she's in Europe, distributing, and she's because um, she she's tried them and she mm -hmm. likes them. And I said, well, I think you're so enthusiastic. You, I want to work with you. And she yeah. she's been doing it. And she's done a great job that's, too. That's now let's get back a moment um, to the other question. We were talking about the, about the lipo. Yeah. What do you want to know about that? Yeah. Anything new in lipo? Well, new. You know, they had it for a while. The uh, the ultrasonic uh, laser therapy, where you put a special machine in a cannula and you melt the fat, yeah, it's right. not a good idea. I've used it, oh. I don't like it. I'll tell you why I don't like it. Right. When you melt something in the, in a, in a, in a, in the ab abdomen, let's say, you have a, an amorphous mass of melted material. Now, you're not gonna get it all out even as you're sucking it out. Some of that's gonna remain there, number one. Number two, ultrasonic is basically a high intensity beam of sound yeah. waves. Now, I cannot be sure of how those sound waves can affect the other organ systems. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want it done to me. I'm most assuredly not going to use it on my patients. Thirdly, mm -hmm. when you go in with a special cannula, you can burn the skin at the entrance site where you're doing it, mm -hmm. and that you keep it moving and have it coated in a, in a water type situation so it doesn't actually touch the skin. So for all those reasons, I'm still committed to doing liposculpture all by hand, by syringe. I do not use a machine at all. And I must tell you, I do about a third of my patients, I do repair work from other people's work. And, they, and I'm sure, in good part, that those mistakes that are made in people's legs and belly and thighs right. is because the machine, used injudiciously, can cause terrible damage to the tissues. But if I'm doing it slowly and carefully, by hand, it's like a, like a handmade suit, it does take me twice as much time. It's very tiring, it's much more work than using a machine, but the results are incredible. In 3,000 patients plus, I have never had a patient I'm not happy with, and the patient tells me the same thing. Now, 
There are cases I may want to go back and touch up, yes, as in every doctor. Like any, right. like any good suit of clothes, you may want to have two or three settings. The same thing with sometimes cosmetic surgery. But in general, the way I'm doing it, I love using the syringe. It's very safe. It's called the French tumescent syringe technique. Mm -hmm. and I worked with Dr. Pierre Fournier, who invented it in Paris, and I've done more than 500 cases with him. So this is our most frequent procedure in the office. Mm -hmm. And now, just to satisfy you and make you happy, we're going to show you some pictures. Okay. <laughs> so here's a lady before. You know, she had those little extra uh, problem at the knees, the medial thighs, and she had a minor problem at the saddlebag area called the corvette de cheval in French. The saddlebag. Okay. Now, here's a before, and here's her after. You can see the difference. Now, this particular patient, later on, uh, I've done her abdomen. It doesn't look bad now, but she is a very big adherent of exercise. She could not get that belly down. With liposculpture of the belly, her belly is as flat as a board, and she's 35 years old. So this right. is the kind of thing that can be done. Right. Now, this is a woman with saddlebags. Not pretty. People, you, you can't just exercise that off. That's not no. going to go away. People say, oh, just go on a diet. There's no diet that I know of that can make that go away. Hmm. I'm sorry. It's an inherited, what we call dystrophy, and it can be only treated surgically. Let's go to the next one, the post. That's a major change. Now, is she as slim as anybody on, on, as a model, supermodel? No, but she's markedly better for her, and she's happy. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's show some more pictures. I want to keep the audience amused. <laughs> now, this is how we mark up the, um, the, the patient before surgery. I take pictures with uh, my slides, my prints. I examine the patient all over again. It takes me 45 minutes just to mark the patient up to know where I want to take tissue. Because remember, the body in general is asymmetric. I may want to take 150 cc's of the knee area on the right leg and then less on the left. And here's her afterwards. You can see there's a marked change. Now, once she gets into an exercise mode, she's going to be great. This is a patient who will be very, very happy. Right. She went down two dress sizes. She feels better. And here's a male breast, a very common problem called gynecomastia. This is an unhappy man because he's a very a nice person. He goes, loves the beach, but he's ashamed to go on the beach. He and his brother had this problem. I operated on them. And his the post op is now. Oh wow! Hallelujah! Well, he this, uh, he's a very he's like a hallelujah. That's what he said. <laughs> Change, that's what he said. Hallelujah! Because the man he lives, he lives on the beach and he can never take his shirt off. And now Aww. and now he can. And here's liposculpture of the neck. Here's a lady, a uh, mature woman. Uh, I she, she said to me, I don't want you to do a facelift. And she didn't really need one. She didn't want to go under the knife. And what I did was I did basically a liposculpture under the neck. Look at the difference. She's had autologous tissue transplantation also. This is a very happy lady. She looks good. Another one right here. Here's the double chin. Very common in men. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of men who come in for this. Yeah. So we do yeah. a liposculpture of the neck and a subcutaneous facelift at the same time. Look at the difference. Very, wow. very happy man. And this basically is an outpatient procedure. It, took, it takes me an hour to do, hour and 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. They wear a special dressing for a bit, and that's it. So I think what, what we're talking about now is a very wonderful procedure, a major advance. And I think the simplest procedure is always the best procedure. The new advances, I think I already have that advance. That tumescent technique is safe. Mm -hmm. I've, in thousands of patients, I've never had a problem. Yes, you must go to somebody who's very well trained, who does a lot of it. I mean, right. you read about these mm -hmm. stories in the paper about mm -hmm. all these. Uh, what did horrible. you just tell me about? Uh, yes, there's something on television uh, about someone who, who took too much at one That's time. Right. And it was a fatality. That's why I do patients many times. I'm doing a total body. Mm -hmm. I will break it up in different sessions. I may do, for example, the, the, the knees, medial knees, medial thighs, anterior uh, part of the leg here, right. and the saddlebag at one setting. And then next, uh, three or four weeks later, I'll do the abdomen and perhaps the arms. Women mm. have a big problem here. I very often do this area. I, it's called a, basically a brachioplasty, but it's done under the skin so there's no scar. And it really, with a special dressing, women look wonderful with that. What happens to the excess skin? Good. In general, that's an excellent question because you see there's a, there is tensile strength and elasticity in the skin by nature. Mm. So not only will the tissue go revert back to what it was when you were much younger, mm -hmm. but when you actually stimulate it by doing the liposculpture procedure, that causes a certain retraction of the skin also. So those factors coupled with proper redraping of this tissue, which I do with a special French elastoplast. The tape goes this way and that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we put the girdle on for five or seven days. The results are spectacular. But don't go away. I have some more information for you at home. I'll be right back.
Dr. Fetter invites you to experience the quality and effectiveness of his personally formulated skin treatment products and cosmetics. These acclaimed products have been dispensed and tested worldwide for over 15 years. The more than 100 products are free of any known allergens and contain only the finest quality ingredients. Once you've tried these products, you'll find them indispensable for maintaining a beautiful, clear complexion and general good health. For more information, call Dr. Fetter, 212-535-8700. Beauty, they say, is in the eyes of the beholder. How you feel about your appearance can have a dramatic effect on your life. Your face is your window to the world. Dr. Louis Fetter's breakthrough techniques in chemodermabrasion and chemical peels can produce dramatic improvements in your skin's complexion and help remove and greatly reduce the appearance of acne facial scarring and other skin imperfections. You can reverse the effects of aging and sun-damaged skin with these highly effective techniques pioneered by Dr. Fetter. For more information, call 212-535-8700. We're back. Uh, Ro, you had again some these fabulous questions at the break. Let's share them with the audience. All right. One of the questions I wanted to know, since I really am considering lipo, um, should I be at my thinnest for it, very well exercised, or should I just be my regular slothy self? First, me, first of all, you're not sloppy. You're glamorous and wonderful. We know <laughs> that. Slothy. <laughs> and we, when I when I examined no. you. Mm -hmm. You have a perfect figure to heal beautifully because you're very athletic. Mm -hmm. You have relatively good tone. I'm, I have you out of the sun now. Remember yeah. when I came out to your home Absolutely. in Long Island? You were a sun lady before mm -hmm. we met. You don't go in the sun anymore. You yeah. run away. What do I bring you as a house guest? Not, I don't bring you <laughs> liquor. <laughs> your sunscreen. Well, that's what I bring you, sunscreen. I, I walk in with 10 sunscreens. Am I right? Yes. And, and now you're being very careful. Mm -hmm. And I think the work we've been doing on you with appeals and mm -hmm. all that stuff so far have done well. Yes, lipo for you will be an ideal thing because it's the little areas that you cannot lose no. merely by exercise. I want you at your, at your normal weight mm -hmm. plus about 10%. Wow. And I'll tell you why that is. In, in the past, doctors would say, oh, diet for six months mm -hmm. and then come to me. Yes. Diets don't work. Diet is an unnatural state. Mm. In general, a diet is something, unless you're prepared to change your whole lifestyle for the rest of your life, that is the only time a diet means something. And then it's not a diet. It's a whole lifestyle change. So dieting means you're gonna just starve yourself for six months and then come back Doesn't to me. Work for that me. is not what's mm. called homeostasis. I want you at your normal body weight, mm -hmm. plus a little ten, extra 10%, because I'll take out more. I see. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, doesn't it? Get rid of those baby fat cells. Those baby cells go <laughs> bye-bye. And we say, when I take your, your fat out, a good part of that will go back into your face, as we did before. And then I freeze a good part of it, because we, for touch-ups in the future, I have almost 1,000 patients fat, well, it's not really fat, it's fibro fatty tissue. It's not just uh, merely a fat mm -hmm. injection when I give you. When I give to your face, it's basically a combination of fibrous tissue and fat that I use in a way that I basically build up layers onto the skin. I call it micro lipo foundation. Mm -hmm. So it's not just fat injections, it's a basic re improvement and a restructuring of the tissues of the face. A facelift like this can never improve these areas in here. That's taking away. I want to give back to you something, give you back your natural tissue. It's not foreign. It's totally safe. You can't reject it. And all the tissue that I'll take out, mm -hmm. I will recycle again for you. Sounds like a deal. <laughs> Great deal. But it makes sense, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Isn't it? I mean, it's a very safe procedure. Mm -hmm. I've never had an infection. Patients will walk off the operating table. There's no blood loss. There's no pain. And when I do several uh, you know, sites of the body, mm -hmm. I have my anesthesiologist give you an intravenous. I don't use general. No, oh, that's good. I give you a, a combination of drugs, mm -hmm. and we use Versed, which is a major uh, drug, and another drug, uh, Brevitol, and then we have an <clears throat> a third drug, which is one of the major uh, treatments for an outpatient surgery, and the patient has no memory and no pain. Hmm. So it's something really, really special. Okay, Alix. Uh, as we? you know, I'm a big fan of your uh, creams, all, all of the creams that I, I, I think you have every cream I ever made. I mean, you have everything. <laughs> They're you have really to wake wonderful. up to my name in the morning. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hoping to keep the clock at least at a standstill. But where are the new anti-aging, um, what's new in anti-aging? Well, we're talking about a lot of different things. As you know, I have all my patients on, on, on vitamins and things of that sort. But you know, today, there are many, many new topical preparations that are not cosmetics. These, ha these are pharmacologic agents basically called cosmeceuticals because they have very, very potent action. Remember, there are many ways that you can get things into the body, intravenously, intramuscularly, intranasally, um, et, mm -hmm. et cetera. 
when you apply something to the skin, it is also absorbed into the bloodstream. But today we have so many new methods. For example, I'm making a new product now with vitamins C, E, glycolic, and retin-A in one product. Mm. You just put this on, it's fantastic. I, I can't make enough. And I think I have, I've, I've, Sonia, you've tried that, am I right? Yeah, what and is it called? It, That's beautiful. It's called Sega Cream. And the patients, oh, I I'm, I'm, yeah. don't you have, if you don't, I I'll, have it, but I, I, I haven't been using it. I'll well, have I'll have to call you at home so and well, remind you, you that's you all. Take, you take the capsule yeah. and put it in the cream? No, we already make it for you. We, actually, what we do is we take some, there are some other things we put into it. We activate it. Uh, some vitamins are already in there, and then again, we go ahead and we take some other vitamins and we open and to refresh and start the, uh, the process. Right. And you keep it in the refrigerator. Right. It'll last three months. Right. But the I'll results are fantastic. Mm. I mean, I use it on my skin every night, too. Mm -hmm. I love it. I use that and my other product called Triple Therapy, which is basically lactic acid, glycolic, and malic acid in a pad, which I clean my face with it, and then it also applies a light chemical peel at the same time. Like so it. it's really mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. What about, what about, about age beautiful. spots and the creams? Right. Because there are a lot of creams that profess to diminish age spots to fade them. What do you think of that? It depends on how severe the age spot is. Now, I have a very excellent bleaching cream. Yeah. Now, that can help. Yeah. But if it's yeah. very deep, sometimes we have to resort to other modalities such as electrosurgery, sometimes erbium laser, so other, times, other types of resurfacing. It depends on the etiology and how severe it is. Because you remember, it has to heal properly. You don't want to just, don't, you don't want to do a procedure on somebody which can be damaging. You want to have the healing uneventful and you don't want to have any surprises. So many times, if I'm worried about a patient, I may test them first in a very innocuous, in, you know, innocuous space, maybe behind the ear or over here, just to see how the patient heals. Because I want to know everything about your tissue, the tone of it, the aging of it, etc. Your own uh, nutritional status, all of these things play a role. But. I, I, want to, I want to tell you, we have, we have so many more questions. We're going to, I promise you we're going to do another show very soon with the three of you because you're also, we've had so many questions so to many. ask that we've talked about even the breaks would fill up a whole show. Right. But I, I'll tell you, I'm going to have you back very soon. Okay. We're going to answer more questions because the audience yeah. at home, I know, loves sharing this with us. I love doing the show, as you well know. And I think we have so much fun. It's, uh, we can sit here for hours and just chat and chat and chat. <laughs> and learn. And uh, I want to thank each of you for being here. Thank Sonia, you. Sonia, Roe, and You're of course, Alix. Thank you. And uh, I want to thank mm -hmm. all of you at home. We try very, very hard to bring you all this information. And we'll be here at the same time next week. Here's looking at you. Good night. For information about any of the topics and procedures discussed on this program, we invite you to call Dr. Fetter for an appointment or free brochure illustrating the services and products available at his Fifth Avenue offices.